This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitau. Recruitment of the next IEBC chiefs has been ongoing despite an initial fleeting political ceasefire between President William Ruto and opposition chief Riley Odinga. IEBC recruitment panel chairman Nelson Makanda told the star his team never abandoned the exercise and has been working all along. Makanda spoke a day after the Kenya Kwanzaa bipartisan team approved the recruitment to proceed after talks with Azmio collapsed. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com. The government yesterday was again pushed into a tight corner over the Shakahola cult deaths as it was revealed the state was firmly in charge of the land where the starvation and deaths massacre occurred. Paul Mackenzie headed the cult. The state has been criticized for lax security and not monitoring the forest properly. Meantime, the directors of a company that owns the land but has since been liquidated denied selling part of it to Mackenzie. DCI officers arrested Kitui East Member of Parliament Nimrod Mbui soon after he was released by ODPP in Kajado and refreshed charges against him in an assault. Mbai, who allegedly assaulted a KPLC employee, failed to take a plea at Kajado Law Courts after the case was referred to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. The MP will now be charged with assault, electricity theft and illegal connection of electricity. Interior Cabinet Secretary Kiture Kindiki has announced the planned reopening of the Kenya-Somalia border at Garissa has been delayed due to the recent surge in terrorism. He said the state was prioritizing national security above any other consideration and it was necessary to arrest rising cross-border crimes. Northeastern region and parts of the coast have been experiencing increased terror attacks by Al-Shabaab which has launched deadly raids, torching property, even beheading people. Treasury is embroiled in a fierce tender row, pitting multinational car dealers bidding to supply high-end vehicles to the government. Mitsubishi maker Simba Corporation and Isuzu are tussling over supply of 200 diesel-powered single-cabin standard duty pickups. The two firms are also after each other over Treasury's decision to award another lot to Isuzu for supply of 106 diesel-driven medium-duty pickups. Simba Corp moved to the public procurement administration administrative review board after it was informed it did not qualify for the respective supplies. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazeti.com.